Welcome in the subject of engineering graphics and design. Today our chapter is projections of solids, section of solid and development of surfaces. Now in this chapter, uh, our today's topic is section of solids. So in previous topic we discussed about the projection of solid. Means in that topic we have to draw the front view, top view of any full solid which is inclined to reference plane HP and VP. Now in this session I want to discuss about section of solids means we have to cut the solid with the use of cutting plane and after cutting when you remove the top portion or bottom portion then draw the front view and top view and also the true shape of the section. Now various cutting planes are used for cutting solids. So first is horizontal cutting plane, vertical cutting plane, profile cutting plane, auxiliary inclined plane and auxiliary vertical plane. Horizontal cutting plane or HCP is the cutting plane which is parallel to horizontal plane and perpendicular to VP. So this is a horizontal cutting plane whenever any solid for example here there is one solid cone which is resting on HP on its base like axis is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Now if you want to cut the cone with the use of cutting plane HCP then this is the position of cutting plane. The cutting plane passing from the cone at the surface that surface is known as true shape of the section. So in this case if we cut the cone with HCP and if we remove the top portion then the top view is will get two concentric circle in which the inner circle represents the true shape of the section and the front view after cutting will get the trapezoidal shape. So whenever you draw the front view and top view on XY the cutting plane represents in front view or elevations and top view will get the true shape of the section. That top view is known as sectional top view. So the cutting plane represented as chain line which both the ends have thick and elsewhere is thin. A vertical cutting plane the cutting plane which is perpendicular to horizontal plane and parallel to VP. So if we cut the solid cone with the use of cutting plane VCP which is not passing from the apex or axis then after cutting when we remove the small portion which is towards observer then if we observe the cone that view front view is known as sectional front view and in top view we can draw the cutting plane line. So cutting plane is drawn in top view or plan parallel to VP on X. Section appear in front view or elevation section in front view or elevation shows the true shape. So when you draw the front view here this is one triangle in which there is one hyperbolic shape of this part that section is true shape now profile getting plan 
the cutting plane which is perpendicular to VP and perpendicular to HP means parallel to profile plane. So when we use profile cutting plane, the cutting plane looks line in front view as well as in top view. This is the cutting plane cuts the cone after removing the small part from left side and so the front view, top view and side view. Then we can find that in left and side view we will get the sectional view in which this part will directly get the true shape of the section. Auxiliary inclined plan. Now previous three cutting planes are horizontal cutting plane, vertical cutting plane and profile cutting plane which are parallel to the main reference planes but here the cutting plane which is inclined to horizontal plane at theta and the perpendicular to vertical plane. So this type of cutting plane is known as auxiliary inclined plane. So any solid which is cut by AIP then you will get the cutting plane line in front view and in top view you will get the sectional view. Now if you cut the cone with the use of AIP then in top view you will get the sectional top view of this particular shape but that sectional top view is not a true shape of the sections so for true shape of section we have to draw a true shape of section with the using a method which are perpendicular line from front view and the distance marked from the top view. So we will see that later on with the use of particular example. Now auxiliary vertical plane AVP the cutting plane which is inclined to vertical plane and perpendicular to HP. Now in this case we will get cutting plane line in top view and front view will represent the sectional front view. In this cone it is cut by AIP perpendicular to HP and inclined to vertical plane. Then if we remove this small part and then we draw the front view that front view is known as sectional front view in which the section surface will not represent the true shape because for true shape the plane must be parallel to vertical plane but here our cutting plane is inclined to VP so in front view it is not a true shape. Okay. Now let us see one example regarding section of solid. A square pyramid base 40 mm side and axis 60 mm long has its base in HP and all edges of the base are equally inclined to VP. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP and inclined 45 degree to HP such that it bisects the axis, draw its sectional top view, sectional side view and the true shape of section. So in this case our solid is square pyramid which is resting on HP on its base and all the edges of base are equally inclined to VP means it is 45 degree inclined to VP. Now we have to cut the solid with the use of cutting plane which is perpendicular to VP and inclined at 45 degree to HP. And we have to draw the sectional top view, sectional side view and the true shape of the section. So first of all we have to draw one line x, y and draw the top view and front view of square pyramid which is resting on HP and axis is perpendicular to H. So here the square of side 40 mm 
and all sides inclined at 45 degree to vertical plane. A, B, C, D are corner of base and O is apex. Now draw the front view by projection lines on vertical plane. So projection from A to VP, B to VP, C to VP and D to VP. A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. Front view of corner of base. Now this line is known as front view of base plane. Now 60 mm height of the axis. So insert front view of apex at 60 mm from base. Now join O dash A dash and O dash C dash, which are front view of edge of face. OA is top view of edge of face and O dash A dash is front view of edge of face. Now draw the side view by drawing x1, y1 which is perpendicular to x1 and draw the 45 degree incline from intersection of x1 and x1, y1. Now extend horizontal line from every corner of base up to 45 degree which are parallel to x1 and draw the vertical line parallel to x1, y1 from all three points. Insert the side view of the base A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash and side view of apex O double dash. Join all the edges of base. So in square pyramid there are four edges of base and four edges of face. We have to cut the solid with the use of cutting plan AIP which is 45 degree incline and which bisect the axis means when you cut the pyramid with cutting plan it must be passing from the center means the midpoint of the axis so first of all you have to draw one horizontal line at 30 mm from base and draw one line which is cutting plan line AIP it must be passing from this point which is 30 mm from base or 30 from or 30 mm from top also because it is a midpoint of 60 mm and the angle of this AIP with horizontal plane 45 degree now when you cut the solid how many lines are cut how many edges of face are cut? So O dash A dash cuts at this point which is known as 1 dash. Similarly O dash B dash cut at 2 dash. O dash C dash cuts at 3 dash. And O dash D dash cuts at 4 dash. So these are the cutting points on front view. After cutting, when we remove the top portions, we will get the front view of bottom part of the square pyramid. Now draw the vertical line from 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. Now, if you draw the top view of 1 dash, you have to draw one vertical line from 1 dash up to intersection of OA line. Because 1 is the point on OA, edge of face. So the top view of 1 dash is here. Similarly from 3 dash to vertical line on OC. Now what about 2 dash and 4 dash? If you draw the vertical line from 2 dash and 4 dash, it will never intersect at OB and OD. So for that, we have to draw horizontal line from 2 dash up to O dash A dash and then draw vertical line up to OA then after we will take O center and this much radius and draw arc on OB that point is top view of 2 point and this is top view of 4.
So one, two, three, four top view of cutting points. If you join with straight line and draw the remaining part. So this is a top view after cutting and removing the top portion of the square plan. Because this is sectional part, so we have to draw the hedge line or section line in this surface only. This is sectional top view. Now what is sectional side view? So we have to draw horizontal line from every cutting points. One double dash because one is on OA, so its side view is on O double dash, A double dash. Similarly from two dash, three dash and four dash. Join with the straight line, so we'll get the sectional side view. Now the important part is true shape of sections. So for that we have to draw one line x2, y2 which is parallel to cutting plane line. Now draw the perpendicular line from 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash. These all four lines are perpendicular to x2, y2 or perpendicular to cutting plane line AI. Now how we will get the point 1? So you, you have to take radius from xy line to 1 point. So this xy to 1 is radius. Now this point is center which is on x2, y2. So this is center, x, y, 2, 1 radius and draw arc on this line. So we will get 1. Similarly, x, y, 2, 2 radius, this point is center and draw arc for 2. Similarly, x, y, 2, 3, x, y, 2, 3 radius, this point is center and draw arc 3. And x, y, 2, 4 radius, this point is center, draw R and join with the straight line and hedge line. So this is known as true shape of section. Next problem, a hexagonal pyramid of the base side 30 mm and axis 70 mm is resting on HP with its base on it and one of the side of the base parallel to VP. The axis of the pyramid is 40 mm away from VP. The pyramid is cut by the AVP inclined at 30 degree. The cutting plan is 50 mm away from the axis and nearer to observe. Draw the top view, sectional front view and the true shape of the section. So first of all draw XY line and draw the top view of hexagon pyramid 30 mm edge of base and the center or axis of the hexagon pyramid is 40 mm away from x. So the top view of all the corner A, B, C, D, E, F by projecting line to the front view of base A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash axis 70 mm apex O dash and draw the edge of face or slant edges. Now you have to draw one line from O which is inclined at 30 degree with XY or 30 degree with VP. Take 15 mm perpendicular line from any point and draw a line which is parallel to 30 degree. Means the cutting plan AVP is inclined 30 degree to VP and it is 15 mm away from the axis. Now the cutting plan passing from BD as well as OC. So we will get three cutting points 1, 2 and 3. This is our final part after removing the small portion. Draw vertical projection lines on front view to find out the front view of cutting points 1, 2 and 3. 1 is at corner B, so this is B dash, 1 dash, 
fault two because here two is on OC line. So two days will get four days three days and three days exactly on. So you have to draw one days two days three days line and draw the H line also. So this is called a sectional front view, top view, and for a true shape of section. Draw one X to Y to line parallel to cutting plan line at any distance. Draw a line from 1, 2, 3, 4 which must be perpendicular to X to Y. Now to find out the point on true shape of section, so what is the distance between X, Y and 1 dash? Zero distance. So on the, this line, this is the position for 1. Now x y to 2 days radius, this is center and draw arc to find 2. Now x y to 3 days 0, so this point will get 3. So 1, 2, 3 and h line, this section is known as true shape of section. Thank you for watching this. Thank <laughs> you.